what's happening guys welcome back this is going to be another vlog style video um i'm heading to that park right now that i always go to where I, there's like the deer the turkeys and all that i just need to and while we still can like um the area i live in we can still luckily we're not on lockdown or anything we can still kind of get out and do stuff so i'm going to this park where i can just kind of clear my mind and you know just get some exercise get some fresh air but uh on the way there you know i've been thinking about i know you guys have been wondering um you know, when am I going to do another story time? Well, I just, uh, just passing by um, Chipotle, I, I just remembered when I was driving by there, I've never, I don't think I told this story, but I'm going to tell it right now. And if I if I have already, I'm going to tell it again. So uh, this was after uh, post, this was post-workout. I got done working out and I wanted to grab, uh, grab me a burrito. And uh, this particular, where this Chipotle is, there's a uh, big shopping mall, indoor shopping mall. There's a street that kind of hugs the perimeter of the mall. Well, I had to pull in there. That's the only way you can get to this uh, Chipotle. So I, uh, I, freaking, I pulled in there and I'm driving. And it was on a Sunday, so there really wasn't anything else open. I think um, this is where I happened to see this happen, this take place. It was an old abandoned uh, restaurant. And I'm just driving by, just kind of daydreaming, whatever. And uh, I fucking look over. I look over to my right. And there's this so what it is is when you um, when you drive by this restaurant it's kind of like the, the roads kind of up like this and um, all the buildings are kind of down low like this so there's kind of a hill there and I, I happen to look over it's the only car in the parking lot it's an abandoned uh, restaurant and I see so the car is faced away from me like this so it's like a T and um, I look over I see a set like a pair of legs uh sitting up in like this in the back seat and then i just see like the back of a head of some dude and he's just pile driving the shit out of this chick i just start i lost it i just started laughing my ass off that was like that was just hilarious like you know the shit you don't see every day <laughs> oh that's sweet but anyway you know we're gonna head to this park and um it's gonna kind of vent some stuff maybe go over some things uh maybe some questions whatever and um yeah, I'm just gonna make a vlog out of this. Just kind of, like I said, clear my mind. I just gotta get out. Of, I gotta get out of the apartment. Just kind of walk around. And I always feel so much better when I go here and I'm around the animals and stuff. So um, yeah, stay tuned. All right, guys, just got to the park. I switched to uh, my good camera, not my phone. Uh, when I told the story, the funny story, I'm still laughing about that. But no, just got to the park and um, there's a lot less people here than I. I was thinking because I mean everyone's bored there ain't much to do but no we're gonna walk around here and let's see what we got hopefully uh, maybe get some bones too but there's so much competition out here people always trying to find the shed antlers so I'm not really expecting much but you never know I mean a couple years ago I accidentally stepped on one and yeah, I happened to find like a little four-point rack so let's see what happens uh, where'd it go? I don't know what the hell that's doing here there ain't a golf course anywhere near this place weird all right this should be a little tricky it's a little nasty in here so without falling kev yeah look at that balance Ooh. outstanding This is nothing compared to what my dad and I were walking in when I went to visit him. We were walking around in some cattail marshes that were like three feet of water, some spots. Just looking for some new area for this coming fall and winter time. Right, there's a couple possibilities in this park that I know where these deer bed and where these bucks like to favor where they bed. So. Just go look and hope for the best. Maybe somebody overlooked and missed an antler or two. So, we're going to check that out right now. Coming up on a uh, place that they all bed down. I'll probably, uh, I'll share that footage with you guys too. Because I had, about a month ago when I was out here, um, I saw like 14 of these bucks all in the same spot. I got some really good video that day. I just never uploaded it. Because I usually don't do these kinds of videos. As you guys know, it's all guitar stuff now. But uh, well, they were all out in this area. This trail's pounded right now. But this leads to, they like to bed down and all this stuff in here. 
is where I saw them all too. I'll show you that. There's a deer right there. And there's another one right there. Let's see. That looks like a doe. What about this one here? Yeah, it looks like a doe too. Yeah. But yeah, we're gonna keep walking. And hopefully I find something. Alright, I think I just found the biggest buck in the park. I'll share that. You'll see plenty of footage of that deer too. But I think that's him looking at me. I can tell by his body size. He's just much, much bigger than all the other deer. So let me show you. Let me pan around here. Alright, he is right there. Glad I brought this camera too because I can't do this with my E6400. If he's got that really like half asleep looking face, that's him because I know what he looks like. I've been seeing that deer for about three years in a row. Yeah, that's him. That's where he always beds is right in this area. Yeah. Well, he lost his rack. He's got big antlers too. He's a real big deer. They're probably in somebody's house. But you never know. All right, I got a little bit closer to that deer. He still hasn't moved. I'm just taking my time walking slow. I don't want to mess with these deer. I don't want to walk towards them and then they get up. They're just chilling. Here comes another one. That is these rubs too. Check this out. You guys tell I'm a deer hunter. <laughs> I'm not to shoot anything that moves. If it's brown, it's down kind of hunter. I'm not like that. But yeah, there's a... Uh... I'll show you some trees that are bigger around than my whole torso. It's just, uh, yeah, there's that. I want to see what this deer is. I can't really tell from here. Where'd you go? No. God, they blend in so good. Here we go. Oh yeah, it's a little chunkaroo of antler on that deer. And then the big guy, he's still laying right there. He hasn't moved. A lot of these deer, I mean, I got footage of one buck that was, so it was an 11 pointer from a couple years ago. And he had his antlers all the way up until, um, it, was the, it was the end of uh, March, I think, into April. So he held on to him for a very long time. But just keep taking my time looking around and enjoying uh, the freedom, so to speak. I mean, a lot of you guys aren't so fortunate. But luckily, I'm going to take advantage of this any time that we have to where we're not on lockdown. I'm going to do activities like this where I can still get out and do stuff. It's probably the next thing for us is going to be possible lockdown. I just came across another one of the big bucks that doesn't have his antlers. I know a lot of these deer by face because I've seen them so many times. So this one right here, most of them, most of the bigger deer so far that I've seen, uh, the bucks have lost their antlers. So that's one of them too. You can just tell by the, just the size of those, like the girth of mass where those antlers used to be on his head. That's another one of those big bucks. And he just doesn't have the delicate look to him. That is an older deer. Well, just found another pretty nice buck with. He's got both antlers. Check this out. Oh, don't get away, don't get away. Where'd he go? Eh. He's right to, yeah, okay. You kind of see him. Start running at him. No, that was that was an eight pointer. I got pretty much zero chance of finding that big boy's antlers out here because I mean, when I if I were to find them or anybody else would find them, they would absolutely pop and stick out like a sore thumb because they're just a huge set of antlers. 
I will definitely shit myself if I do come across one of those because it's you guys will see in the uh, video I keep saying that but uh no there's um there's a lot of really nice bucks in here so there's quite a few possibilities like I said that day that I was out here I counted 14 of them all in the same spot so you do the math I mean that right there not to not to include any of the other deer that might be out here or the other bucks but that's 28 possibilities of picking an antler up. This park is, I mean, it's a good size, but it ain't that overwhelmingly big. But when I was out here a couple of years back looking for antlers, I mean, I was out here every weekend because I just loved coming out here. I still do. And I didn't, I didn't come across shit. I mean, I was all over this park. I looked everywhere and I just happened to step on that one out. And I'll, we'll go check that field, which is not too far from me. It's over that way. Yeah, over that way. And then actually one of these rocks in here is where I do some of my videos. Where I've done some of my videos. Alright, so I just covered that whole bedding area behind me so we can cross that one off the list. But next up we got this whole field out here. Well, I did find a bone, but it's not the bone that I'm after. Death and destruction. I don't know what that is. What? Right here. Alright, just found another buck with no hardware on his head. Let's check him out. I can always tell. It's by their body size. How high off the ground they are. Oh, I got those pick. Okay. Yeah. Got those pickers stuck in my calf right now. I gotta move strategically, that fucking hurts. Oh, all right, I got it. Yeah, I got a couple little areas I can still check out in this field, but I kind of went around most of the perimeter of it. I just gotta uh, wanna check over by this creek next to me. They like to walk the edge of that creek before they go into the marsh, so I'm gonna check along there too. I have a guest behind me, where'd you go? Yeah, this one's like right up on my ass. Where'd you go? God, they blend right in. It's hard to see. Okay, now you see this little ass screen I'm looking at. And there's a couple more that are joining the party. Yeah, they'll follow me for quite a while. We are right along the edge of that creek now. And these deer come up on you really, really fast. Like, I got a bunch of them coming out right now. I had these... These two right, actually three. And these three walking up on me, I didn't even, didn't even hear them, didn't even notice them. I can remember the first time I came out here, this was a couple few years ago or whatever it was, came out here, it was the coldest day of the year up here, and uh, it was January 1st, so I came out here, my cousin was telling me about this place, hey, you go out there, you throw a little bit of food out, you shake a bag, and they come running in like uh, dogs. I thought he was full of shit. I came out here with like, I think I had a bag of brown rice. I wasn't gonna, oh my God, they're coming close. I had a bag of brown rice. I shook it real quick. Didn't think anything of it. I'm looking at the ground. Send my cousin a quick text. I, I heard something behind me and I thought it was like a squirrel or something. And then I turned around and I jumped like 10 feet because these deer were literally closer than that behind me. <laughs> so yeah, he wasn't lying that time. These deer will come right up to you. It's about as close as they'll get. I mean, some of them will be brave and they'll come up closer to you, but as long as you don't move real fast, they're okay with you. So used to people out here. So remember I mentioned those rubs, and I've been showing you guys as I've been filming all this, like these rubs, these trees are all just pounded in here. Like that one. Hey, how you doing? that one over there and then you can see a bunch of old rubs and this doe really really likes me but this rub right behind me is off the hook look at that so you got this one right here and then you got that guy right there
I know which one did that too. It's that one that was laying down over there. This toe is right here. I just keep seeing more and more just crossing the creek coming towards me. Then there's a bunch out in the field right now. This is just really cool stuff. I just like coming out here. Get away from all the chaos that's going on while we still can. Just came up to the edge of the creek where they like to favor and cross. It's along here, but you can see going that way. Right through there. I'm gonna check all that too. There's a bridge that goes across all this. I mean, this ain't a bad jump, but there's still some more stuff on this side of the creek that I wanna check before I go over in that direction and underneath all that. And take a look but yeah these uh these crossings just get hammered I still want to check back here yeah, look at that rub there all right I'm entering another possibility out here in this park but you know like I mentioned earlier I'm not the only one doing this I mean check this out there's a boot print right there there's a couple boot prints in here all the way through here so I'm definitely not alone with the antler search. I never was, but I mean, you never know. That one that was out in the field that I stepped on a couple years ago, that one was overlooked. So I was able to get that one, which was cool, but whether I come up empty handed or, or I do find something, it's not a big deal. I just love being out here. A couple bucks right in front of me as I'm walking down these trails. I can always tell just by high, how high off the ground they are. Totally different body size than the does. Yep, that's another one right there. So most of them did drop their antlers. There's another one right, let me see if I can move here. Right through there, let's check him out. I think that's another buck. Oh, with a head, I can't really tell. Right. What's up, brah? <laughs> I love it. Okay, so I checked everywhere. Um, that bedding area that I just showed you guys. Actually, I went in another bedding area. Nothing. Looked all along this creek. Nothing. Bunch of wet spots out here too, and actually, about to cross this creek and cut the distance down. So I've come to <laughs> this. This is gonna be funny. I make the jump. I'm confident I can make it. This is the shortest distance that I found across here. So we got a rock there, a rock there, and then some shore over there. This is like a barren wasteland, like the dark world of. Legend of Zelda, Link to the Past, all this shit. But I'm gonna try and make the jump right here. I'm gonna attempt. So, uh, wish me luck. <laughs> this is gonna be funny. Very, very carefully. Oh boy. Put this around. Boots suck, by the way. Got my chest waders out in my truck. God, I hope uh, I hope that rock that I step on doesn't move. Uh, all right, it's solid. Let's switch this around. All right. For the game, here we go. Yeah, oh, that, was, that was a lot easier than I thought it was gonna be. Simple. I saved about a 15 minute walk right there. Because in front of me, it was just nothing but just water and just muck. A lot of this stuff is still underwater. But so far, yeah, it's just I'm kind of giving my hopes up now. I didn't expect to find any antlers out of here. It's just, I just keep coming across boot prints. 
A lot of people in this area know what's out here, so they're out here looking for antlers just like me. We've got maybe one or two other spots I can look. But I ain't gonna give up yet. 